Hi, my name is Victor and you're with Revit Experiments where I'm going to show you today the new version of Link Multiple Cut DWG files to Revit at once. And this has been suggested in the comments of uh, this old video. It's two years old now. And I was asked if it is possible to link multiple cut files to different views. So without further ado, let me show you what we have here. So this is a blank file. And here I have a folder filled with these cut files. These are just uh, copies at the moment. Simply copies of the same file because uh, I don't really have a folder of sample cut files. And here is our script. We open it with the Dynamo player. And you know how a Dynamo player works. You browse to the folder where your Dynamo definitions are, and it's showing you the contents. So in this folder, I have these two DINs, DIN files. And I just hit run script here. And I'm greeted with this window, which is possible thanks to the data shapes package. You need to have the data shapes package in order to view this window here. So this user interface here is exactly what we see when we go and manually link cut files. So we have the options here. We have the colors, black and white, invert or preserve, and the preserve is the default value. We have the um, positioning, center to center, or region to region. We have the import units. I know that this file is in millimeters. We have the orient to view, correct uh, lines that are slightly off axis. All this is uh, pretty straightforward. Now here we have the field where I have to paste or write the path to the folder which contains the files. So just paste that here. And the new thing, the updated thing now, uh, is the select linked option. So the first option, which is uh, the default one, let me show back Revit, is link all DWGs to the active view. So all of the cat files are going to be linked here. And the new option is create a new drafting view for each DWG. So let me show you how this works. If I have selected these options, preserve color, auto region to region, I have not selected current view only, and I hit set values here, I'm going to see my cut file here. And as you can see, this is a model cut file because it doesn't have the move to background or to foreground. And I actually have, you can see here in the bottom corner, I have 20 elements and they are in the 3D space. So 20 elements here. I have currently selected that one for plan level zero. I can select all 20 of them and unpin them. And I can, for example, start and delete them one by one. We'll try to select different ones. You can see here in the bottom left corner that I can tap select through multiple of them. And okay, that's fine. I'm going to undo all of this. I'm going to try the other thing. I'm going to try to run the script. I'm going to use all of these, but I'm going to say current view only. So that's the only difference now. Uh, and the auto detect I could have, I could have left it, and I select current view only. And this option here, link all uh, DWGs to the active view, set values. And now, you can see that when I select it, I have this draw layer background or foreground, which is telling me that these twenty cut files are not in the three D view. 
they're all linked to my level zero here. Okay, let me undo that as well. And let's try the new option, which was suggested in the YouTube comments of my YouTube uh, video. So I'm going to start with pasting uh, the folder and I'm going to select millimeters. You know, this is optional. We don't need to do it, but I have the habit of always selecting the import unit and region to region, even though that doesn't make too sense to a drafting view. And now I'm going to select create new drafting view for each DWG file. And notice that here in my pretty empty project browser, uh, a new tab is going to appear when I run this. So let me set values. And you can see that now I have these drafting views. And they are named with the name of the file. So you know in Revit with uh, just a glance which of your files is on which of these views. And you see that this was pretty quick. Uh, it was pretty quick uh, because it's all done in code and also because uh, this is a fairly small um, DWG file. And I want to show you how this script looks internally. I'm going to hit on this small pencil here to open Dynamo and show you the actual script. Uh, it looks complex, but it's not really complex. All of this here is uh, pretty much taking care of that user interface that we have, that window, that window form that pops up here. And to have this, you need the data shapes package. That one, thanks to Mustafa for the data shapes package. And the actual linking is done with the Python script in here. So uh, I'm going to update that uh, file on the downloads of my website where you can uh, go and download it for a small fee. And if you want to learn how to create your own scripts, how to use Dynamo, uh, you can uh, check the link uh, below. I'm going to put a link to uh, a discount code uh, to my best selling Dynamo course on Udemy. And I hope um, this update to the script is appreciated by whoever needs it. So thank you for watching this. Uh, go and check out my website. There are other things. And yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.